Um, I reached out on social media and I, I began asking people, what, what things are going through your minds as we're dealing with this current situation, this unprecedented situation? And so here are some of the responses that we got on social media. Uh, the first one was concern for workers who have lost or may lose their jobs. There's fear of losing a job. Empty store shelves that make us wonder if we'll run out of food and supplies. There's those with depression and anxiety who already feel isolated, being told all of a sudden that they need to isolate. There's concern for those who are in high-risk categories and what may happen to them. There's concern that our medical system will get overwhelmed through all of this. There's also wondering how long the economy can sustain closings and shutdowns or paying bills without any kind of income. There's frustration and anger for those who aren't taking this pandemic seriously. And on the other side, there's frustration and anger that people are taking this pandemic too seriously. There's uh, elderly folks in nursing facilities who are unable to receive visits and they don't really understand why. We have cancellations of sports and what that means for athletes who worked hard all year. And then for me personally, my wife at home with three kids and a puppy that she did not want. This one's for you, Carrie, right? I mean, that's, that's just very real, right? That's kind of where we are. And so all of these things and more, my guess is you can probably relate to those. Honestly, when I think about that list of things, I have felt every single one, depending on the moment in time. I mean, I felt all of those. And there's a word that keeps coming up over and over and over again. You know what the word is? It's this word here. It's uncertainty. Uncertainty, I mean, we just have this sense of uncertainty. Now, the, the funny thing about uncertainty is that, honestly, it's kind of always been around. 